Hello friends out in YouTube land, Asenva here for a tips and tricks video. So I think one of the top questions that goes around uh, in the BJB hobby is what sealant should I use? So the typical ones that most people kind of will point you into the direction of are going to be MSC. This one's pretty common as far as like people using it like and, and trusting it and you know they could probably stand behind it. The thing is it's, it's kind of hard to get to sometimes and it's kind of hard to find and it gets kind of pricey sometimes. The other ones would be, which I don't actually have on hand right now, would be the Citadel, like the Purity Seal and the Matte. Uh, that one is actually one that I can definitely stand behind. I've been using that one for the past couple years now. And then there's a couple other ones here and there, like I know Volks makes one too that people uh, tend to like. But we're not here for those today, ladies and gentlemen. Today I'm hoping to kind of do a tips and tricks kind of experiment to kind of help you if you ever thought about what if I used this as a sealant? I literally went out to my local hobby shops and I asked for some clear sealants. So I have four sealants that I'm going to be trying today. One, the Vallejo Matte Finish, the Tamiya Flat Clear, Armory Clear Matte Sealant, and Testers, the Clear Coat. So some things to keep in mind. Um, one, whenever you decide to spray your dolls, whether you're doing it for upkeep to make sure that they're um, bodies are coated and they're protected and all that good stuff so that way your clothing doesn't stain them and you're all good in that realm or you're doing face-ups uh, the conditions in which you spray is going to play a big factor on how it's going to turn out aka you don't want to spray in an area that is going to be humid or too hot um, maybe even too cold. You really have to, on, on the back of the bottles, it actually tells you like what are like favorable like weather conditions. <laughs> also, whenever you do spray, please make sure that you are doing it safely. A proper mask such as this, you want something that has like these cartridges or something to filter the air, I guess you could say. Uh, you don't want to use like the hygienist masks or um, like the thin little paper ones, that's not going to do anything. The fumes will kind of just go right there. You want something that will definitely <sighs> protect you. Um, I think I picked this up off of Amazon. By the way, um, I do have a Amazon list that you're more welcome to check out that has the BJD supplies that I use for my face ups check out the link down below. Um, gloves are definitely, I think, a smart thing to wear. Um, just in case anything, I guess, leaks off the can. Uh, you don't want it to come in contact with your with your skin. Also, that way you're not touching uh, your doll parts that you're about to spray uh, with your fingers. I mean, we have natural oils on our hands um, and you don't want anything to seal into the doll. Third thing I want to talk about is distance. The cans do state different things. Like this one says, um, spray the can 10 to 12 inches from your work in light, co in light coats to prevent sagging. <laughs> uh, I think I usually like to keep a good distance. Um, I want to say probably like one to two feet away and then I kind of like bob in and out. Um, you definitely don't want to do anything too close. Uh, if you want like a real time example, I'll give you one here. So do very, very light coats um, and definitely don't do it too, too close to the doll part that you're working on. I went ahead and I got five pieces from one of my older dolls. I cleaned off the parts and I've labeled them as to what spray I'm going to put on them. So that way we can kind of compare and contrast to see how they look. So I gave everyone about mm, 25 minutes or so to dry and um, I brought them inside after I sprayed them in my garage because it was actually kind of warm and humid in my garage and actually I, ha I threw down a reading, a thermometer reading down there so I actually we'll check that out too. And I guess with like a 44% of humidity and it says it's mostly dry. It feels weird in here. It, 
it feels more humid, but for sure I think it's pretty spot on with that temperature there. Um, and that's the conditions I sprayed the dolls in here. So now we're gonna kinda get up close and personal. And I had one piece that I did not spray. So it's kind of like my uh, control, I guess you could think of it that way. Um, so this first one that we have is the Tamiya. So I can feel like where the sealant didn't go on and feel where it is. It actually has like a really nice texture to it. It definitely is matte and you can tell the difference. Like you know that it's there, like where it is on the, where it is on the, on this particular piece and versus where it isn't. Let's just see if we can erase some of it through the ceiling. So I'm really pressing hard to get this off. A lot of it kind of does have to play into factor with the color and stuff, but it's pretty strong. Um, I really had to, to press on it pretty hard in order to get that watercolor um, pencil off of it. Next we have the Vallejo. Wow, this doesn't even... It feels so smooth. Like, like I can feel like where the, the product didn't go on and it definitely, it feels like this one here. But where I did spray it, like, it doesn't even feel like, I mean, I can, I can tell that it's there, but it's so thin. You can still tell it's matte, but it's not too thick. Let's see how it erases. Let's try to pick a different part of the eraser here. <laughs> oh man. I know again, uh, sometimes the color has to play a factor on whether or not uh, sometimes it's like the pigments are kind of stronger in it. And this is a purple, but yeah, that that's still that's still pretty strong. It, it it's good because I can see that it's coming off with just a magic clean eraser, and that tells me that it should come off um, with the other products like a rubbing alcohol or a Windsor and Newton. But yeah, I like that it's so it's so light, um, but it seems really strong. So that's not too bad. I kind of like that one. Okay, next up we have the Armory, and so. <laughs> This was me. I didn't, this isn't from the spray. I actually like noticed it afterwards. I was like, oh crap. Like I was trying to clean it and I guess I got something. This is from my finger. So that's, that has nothing to do with the armory. Oh wow, that is thick. Um, so a feeling like again, so this is, hasn't been sprayed. This one, this piece hasn't been sprayed. Uh, you can feel definitely what it feels like. It's very smooth when it doesn't have any sealant on it. And this, like, you flat out tell that there is sealant on it. You see that? I just swiped it with my finger and, like, this powdery stuff came off. I'm not, and see, that's what I was worried about is, like, I don't want it to have any discoloration or residue on it. It shouldn't, it shouldn't affect it to where it it, it leaves anything else on your doll. And that's, I've already wet swiped it three times. That's kind of concerning. Um, let's see how it does when I try to take it off. Okay, so it, it comes off very easily, as you can see. Um, just a couple swipes and it took it off. I don't know, I don't like that. <laughs> it's the armory. Okay, next we have uh, testers. And, ooh, that is, that is like also very thin. What in the world? Very matte. Um, I like how it's it's not really shiny either. Um, let's see how it does when I when I erase it with the magic clean eraser here. Oh snap! <laughs> Yikes! That did not want to come off. It did come off, which tells me that uh, it should eventually come off like with some rubbing alcohol and all that good stuff. But dang, like I guess if you really want it to stay on, that's a tough ceiling. Because the thing you gotta think of with all these is that this is just one layer. When you do a face up, you're gonna do multiple layers. So it's gonna be even stronger than this by however many layers you're gonna put on. Last but not least, everyone's fan favorite, the MSC. Um, I mean, I'm pretty familiar with MSC. Like, it does leave like, a good uh, coat. Like, it feels real good. If you wanna try to say, like, out of these other ones, which, ones feel, which one feels like it the most, I would probably say 
oddly enough, the the Tamiya, the Tamiya feels very much like MSC, and maybe it's because they're both like Japanese. Like I, I don't know. Maybe maybe they use the same things, and they're just different brands. I don't know. Let's see how it erases. I wonder if it erases similar to the Tamiya, because the Tamiya, like it did come off. It took a little bit of of us. Uh, some swipes to it, but it did come off. Oh, let's see MSC here. Good old MSC. <laughs> Holding on like a champ. <laughs> yeah, so I think very similar, because even to me, I, I had to give it some a good scrub in order for some of it to come off like that, with their magic clean eraser. I kind of want to see what it's like to put pastel on top of this, because that kind of plays a big part in it too. Um, whenever you're blending and putting on your pastel, um, how does it apply? So I'm gonna go ahead and put down a color on each of them and I'll probably do, I'll, I'll do the side that I didn't erase on and then we'll see how it applies and I'll see how it looks. So uh, the armory didn't actually even want to get on there and I don't know if it's because it's fighting with that layer of mystery whatever it is. But that's how that went. Testers actually was really nice. Um, it kind of caught it caught the pigment really well. Uh, but again, I don't know if it's because it's it it was one of the ones that felt really thick. So I mean, it has a lot to I guess adhere to. Uh, the Tamiya it went on very smoothly again since it has a lighter matte finish. Um, I had to swirl the brush a little bit more. Um, and so that's why you'll see also on the MSC, you've got a lot of excess pigment on it as well. Um, they're both very similar. And then the Vallejo as well. So like, honestly, <laughs> the testers grabbed it the best, but I don't know if it's like a good thing. I mean, really honestly, it had a lot to grab on too. Um, but again, I mean, you're going to be doing this in layers, so I don't know if you want it that concentrated initially, but you know, that's that. So an additional test that I ran for you all is that I went ahead and I was curious to see what the sealant looked like itself. So I got these clear plates and as you can see this one is um, marked off as no sealant. When you compare that to something like the Armory, you can see that it actually looked very cloudy. Testers was very matte as you can see, but it's very even. I just don't know if that's too thick. The one I was really curious about was this one, which was the Vallejo. And um, again, similar to Testers, it is very uh, consistent, and it does give a very nice finish. Um, it, it is matte, but it's a very smooth matte finish. Next we have up is Tamiya, and you can see it's, it's pretty clean, actually. Um, and this is kind of, I think, more of ideally what I would want, is that I want it to be to the consistency where you can spray it on and it's clear, you shouldn't see any residue, and yet when you feel it, it's got texture to it. So like even me feeling this plate here compared to the one with no sealant on it, um, just similar to like when you're when I touched it on the resin, it has texture to it. It feels good. Um, and again, I like that it's not so clouded because you have to think this is going to be going onto your doll. So if I had to put three or four layers of this, I know it's not going to make it, you know, especially for like tan dolls, it's not going to make it cloudy or anything on the resin. So I'm, I'm liking that. And then last but not least, our control. I went ahead and I put some on some MSC on here. Granted, I actually was running out of MSC as I was spraying this down. So it actually, you can kind of see like there in the re light reflection there, it's kind of spotty, but it's not because MSC is spotty, it's because my can was running out. And there you go. So now you can kind of see them all side by side. You have the Tamiya the first, as the first plate, the MSC, the testers, the Vallejo, and then the Armory. So I mean, it's pretty significant. Like you can really see that there is a difference between the sealants. Even though they all claim to be matte, clear sealants, they look different. Um, and they'll spray on differently too. Um, so your typical MSC can can be anywhere, I think from like 15 to 20 bucks or something like that. Depends with shipping. Um, but these three, I bought them, um, the Testers, the Tamiya, and the Vallejo. I bought them at a local hobby store, and 
Um, the prices may vary, but at my hobby store, the testers was only six bucks. Uh, the flat clear, the Tamiya was ten, and then the Vallejo was about twelve to thirteen. I guess you could round it off to that. So, what's my overall verdict? I think you know everyone's first go-to is always going to be. MSC. I would definitely say I kind of felt like neck and neck with the Vallejo and the Tamiya because the Tamiya so it felt so similar to me um, to the MSC that I was kind of like it was like an old friend. <laughs> and honestly, I've used the Tamiya um, clear gloss before as well um, for my BJDs. I use that like for for lips and like tear ducts and stuff like that. Um, so I mean, I already like. Tamiya as well. Uh, I would say like a third place would be probably the testers. So I mean I feel like this is kind of like some heavy duty stuff. Maybe, I mean I don't know if I would use any of these like together, but I mean I feel like maybe if you were just going to seal off your body, and I mean you're not really going to do any body blushing to it and you just want to just protect the body, maybe like this would be just a good like one and done type spray. Um, to use, but I think I would definitely first and second place are gonna go to the Vallejo and the Tamiya in my opinion. In last place goes the Armory. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please make sure to hit that like button if this was helpful. Uh, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell so that way you can check out some more BJD videos that I will be throwing out at you. And if you have used any of these products before, Leave me a comment down below on which one that you've used or maybe uh, a different sealant that I did not try out today uh, that you like. Hope you guys have a dolly-tastic day and I'll see you guys in another video soon. Bye!